Hello friends, welcome. This is the second video of the video series on Bigo Framework. In the first video, I had discussed about what Bigo is and how you can create a Bigo application using B tool. If you have not watched that video, it will be helpful for you. Please watch that video. In the end of this video series, I will also show you how you can create a basic blogging application using Bigo framework. But before that, I will discuss different components of an application separately. In today's video, I will show you how you can add your own custom controller method in Bigo application. Friends, as in the first video, I had discussed Bigo is based on MVC architecture. So, we write the business logic of the application in the controller part. So, let us start today's video. First of all, we have to open the terminal. Let me clear it. Here you can create a new application using B tool. B new. Here I am putting the name as my app of the application. When we run this command, you can see that my app has been created. If you See inside this my app you can see different directories has been already created here. Now let me navigate to this my app folder. Let me clear it. Then to run this application you have to run a command b run when we run this command you can see an error failed to build the application missing go.sum entry for module so basically here you have to run another command go mod td when we run this command you can see a go.sum file has been created now let me again clear it and again run the command b run. When we run this command, you can see this type of error is again coming. So again we have to run this command. When we run this command, then it upgrades this basically is this part. Now again run the application. When we run this command b run, we can see that HTTP server running on port this 8080. Now you can open your favorite browser and hit this URL localhost 8080. Friends, when we hit this URL localhost 8080. We can see this type of page is coming. Welcome to Bigo. Now, again, let me go to VS Code. Friends, here you can see different type of directories. In this directory, you can mention basic configurations of your application. Here for example, HTTP port has been mentioned, app name is mentioned and run mode is mentioned as dev. This is the controller directory. Here you can define your own controller. A basic default.go controller has already been created here. This is the model part. 
this is router here you define different routes for your application this is the static part where you put all your css file images and javascript files this is the test directory where we write test methods for your applications method this is the view directory here you put all your html files friends in bigo framework you can put the extension html or ppl also so now let us go to this default.go file here suppose if we want to define one method to simply print hello world so for that purpose let us create a function So friends, here I have given basic structure of this say hello method. This is the receiver of this method. So here, if we want to define the template name for this receiver, simply type hello dot ppl name. Now. Now we have to define a, a HTML file hello.tpl. So simply go to this views directory and here you can define hello.tpl. You can also name this as hello.html. But in that case, you have to rename this also as hello.html so simply press enter and type here hello world now go to routers directory and in that go to this router.go file here we have to define a route for that newly created controller method bigo dot router here i am defining route as slash hello friend we map the controller method like this here we put the request method first of all get here i am taking get method you can also pass post or put and then the method name this is the method name that we had defined in this default dot go now as you can see that bigo has already been updated this is one of the good feature of the bigo you don't need to run the server every time after doing modification it automatically starts server after every modification now simply go to browser now hit the url when you hit this url you can see this type of error my app cannot find template file in the path views hello.tpl so simply go to views and here as you can see that we had defined the file name as hello.html so here you have two options either rename this as hello.html or either rename this as hello.tpl so let me rename it
when you rename it then it again starts the server simply go to browser and here you can see the result hello world has been printed now this is one approach suppose if you don't want to use this main controller then you can define your own controller for that purpose so let us define our own controller type test controller here one thing you should keep in mind that every time you have to use this bigo dot controller basically in it inherits all the fields of this bigo controller this is called composition in golang friends there is no concept of inheritance in golang for that we use composition so here we are inheriting all these properties of this controller using this composition now you can create controller method using this test controller also so for example if we want to define another method or suppose if we want to modify this method itself so you can also name it as test controller you have to also change this router dot go instead of main controller here you have to use test controller now server has again started you can go to your browser and refresh the page you can see the same result has been printed again one more way is there suppose if we want to use this main controller or test controller then you can do that also so let me again define a new structure and if we rename this as new structure again go to router dot go and rename this as new structure here you can see server has again started now go to browser and refresh the page you can see the same result so these are some various ways where you can define your own controller method that's all for this video friends thanks